Good day. Welcome to the workshop, guys and gals and just everybody. So, I think I'm going to start a little bit of a channel here showcasing my work, just working some little projects here and there. But I'm going to try to always include the time of how long it takes me to do each thing. You know, I'm not going to really go into the design too much I don't think unless I really feel like it or it just really adds up then I'll go into it but today some friends of mine well not today the other day they had a little kid so I figured this is supposed to be a little tiny rattler I saw a picture of it so I kind of traced it out got a design let me try making it. I got some, it was a failed cutting board of mine. So I'm going to trace it on here, cut her out with the scroll saw, and take you guys along for the journey and let you know how long it takes to make a toy rattler. And if you should, buy it on Amazon or make it yourself. Alright, enjoy.
Okay, so that's that. I was able to make it. I didn't quite show too much of the drilling of the rattly things. I ended up using some maple and walnut. I was going to use some rustic alder, but I was like, eh, the kid might chew it. And it didn't quite, I started, I tried chewing it, didn't pass my chew test, so I was like, man, maple is a better choice if some kid's going to chew on it. It sounds alright, so not too bad. Took some more sand into it. I am at 2 hours, 7 minutes, and 30 seconds. So not bad, really. What's your time worth? I guess that depends. You can, I think it's like... $20 on Amazon maybe, you can buy it, 25 maybe, you know, check it out if you don't want to spend 2 hours and 7 minutes on making this little tiny metal toy for a kid, baby, it's a little bit, maybe a little bit larger than I'd like, but kids gonna have big hands, you know, gonna get some burn, not like my small hands, but anyhow, the wood shop is cooking here, thanks for joining me on this little adventure of the little teddy bear baby rattler. <laughs>